Smartphone cameras are incredible these days. Why not leverage these incredible smartphone cameras for live streaming or recording video? Enter the Camel webcam app. You can use it for free, but obviously you'll have a watermark and some limitations. For premium access, it starts at about $4.99 per month or $39.99 per year. The option I chose was $79.99 for a lifetime license. For the cost, is the Camo webcam app worth it? Well, let's discuss the features and then we'll cover the pros and cons here at the very end. The setup's rather intuitive. You'll need to download the app on iOS or Android from their respective app stores. Then download the Reincubate Camo Studio Pro app on your Mac or PC. Keep in mind, it's cross compatible, meaning you can use an iOS camera on a PC and an Android on a Mac. The software does all the sorting for you so you can focus on creating videos. To activate and use the Camo app, you'll need to open the program on your smartphone and your computer. Once on, you'll manage all the controls on your computer, not the phone. I'm currently using an iPhone 7 to demonstrate. Sadly, because I'm using the iPhone 7, it has some limitations. The parent company, Reincubate, has a full list of supported devices. We'll leave a link to the supported models in the video description below so you can make an informed purchase. Normally, you could switch the mode, but I can't. Just know you can change the mode, and that includes focus, which includes portrait, basic portrait, and a mute background. Then accessibility has emoji face, emoji hands, and face follow. The face follow feature sounds the most intriguing to me. You get masking, which includes invisible, beauty, 8-bit, and sketch. And lastly, novelty, which includes jaguar, Fred's on your head, chromatic, starry night, lightning, and big head. Next up, you can select which camera you want to use, whether in the front or in the back. The focus feature comes in auto, and that's where I have it, or manual focus. Now choose the resolution. Naturally, my iPhone 7 can handle 1080p and can downscale to 720p or any other smaller size. I'm not sure why you'd want to go potato quality, but I guess that's on you. And just below that, you can use your device's onboard audio. I haven't ever used it before, but would love to hear if you try it and how it sounds. Presets are in place in case you lack the patience for dialing in the camera settings. Me, I just stick with how it looks. I'll show you how to fine tune these things in a bit. Under post processing, you have the ability to remove the watermark or add your own. And of course, that's only available for premium users and mirror your video, rotate it, and zoom in. Going over to the right panel, you'll see where you can adjust the video. Under light adjustments, you can set the exposure through shutter speed and ISO. Then you can control white balance through the temperature and tent. There's an option for turning on your camera light using flash. Keep in mind that'll only work if you have a light on your device. For instance, flash does not work on the front facing selfie cam for most mobile devices. Now you can fine tune your video through image adjustments, including brightness, hue, saturation, contrast, gamma, and sharpness. I primarily use the Camo app for recording video through OBS. So if you're wanting to use your webcam with a live streaming encoder or through browser-based services like Restream or StreamYard, then Camo works great. Fair warning. Even though Camo puts the screen display on hold when you're not actively using it, your device might get a bit warm. I haven't had too much issues and even had it running for over an hour. Oh, and in case I didn't mention it, you must have the app open on the smart device and your computer at all times. Once you close out either of them, it will not work. Here are the pros and cons of the Camo app. The pros include free access. Hey, that's pretty nice. You just will get the watermark and you can't remove it. And there's some premium features you're missing out on. Oh, and it's pretty intuitive by the way, and it does track your battery life, whatever that's worth. The cons include this. With free access, you're stuck with the Camo watermark and you can lose a lot of the light and image adjustments. You must be plugged in at all times. Sure, if you keep your phone plugged in, it'll stay charged, but you're limited on how long your cord is, of course. Other apps like Elgato's Epic Cam used a USB connection and a Wi-Fi connection. So kind of leaves me scratching my head and wondering if this will be something they're gonna roll out sometime soon. And last but not least is the cost. Oh my gosh, yikes. 80 bucks for lifetime access. I'm kind of kicking myself over this. Does it really have to cost so much? I mean, $80 for a lifetime access to camo, whereas Elgato's Epic Cam runs for $7.99. While Epic Cam doesn't have all the bells and whistles of camo, it still is fairly comparable on so many levels. 
Overall, I find the Camo app to be intuitive and a great addition to any live streaming or video creation process. Though it's a bit pricey, it is certainly reliable. Stay tuned to this channel for when we cover Elgato's Epic Cam. In the meantime, check out this other webcam and find out why my brother loves the pricing and features. We'll see you there.